50 years ago, a baby boy was born in Lataya village in Bungatira sub-county, Golo district, in northern Uganda. Born over then 40-year-old woman Lucia Alal, Caesar Achilam was raised in this very home with seven siblings, four boys and three girls. Achilam went through the stages little boys go through and helped turn this garden. A hard worker is what his family described him to be. He attended Gulu Senior Secondary School but never got to complete his studies. She says one day Caesar was collecting potatoes from the garden in the afternoon in 1988 when the LRA rebels captured him. That was the last time Lucia saw her son. And to the siblings, a brother would not resurface for long, going by the tales they were hearing about Cony and the LRA rebels. Achlam's brothers died during the two-decade LRA insurgency. Now 24 years later, aged 90, Lucia gets to see her long-lost son, Caesar, now aged 50, again, but not in person. It is in newspaper pictures and through whispers among the village members of Lataya. If it were possible, the paper would be shredded for each of them to get a glimpse. Uncontrollable tears streamed from their eyes. Caesar's mother says that her son was taken against his will and the government should set him free. She needs him to come home and bury her as well as save the family. While the family is rejoicing and sad at the same time that he's alive but not back with them, one resident, Margaret Oriki, feels like Archlam's capture or surrender to the UPDF on Saturday has brought back sadness she had for long buried in her mind. Margaret says she lost four brothers in the bush to Kony rebels and thinks Achilam should be locked up. She is not the only one who has welcomed the former rebels' capture. We needed to reawaken the world to know that there was a bigger problem out there. Although northern Uganda was peaceful. We shall rest forever now. Justice can follow anybody anywhere. Different countries have welcomed this news, with France pledging to support the UPDF in hunting down coin in the jungles of the Central African Republic. We should not say that uh, every, every senior command of the LRA is guilty. But whatever feelings there are about Achilam's arrest, many believe the end is near for LRA chief Joseph Kony.